and welcome back we have just now three waves of refugees and they are telling us about a storm coming ahead and now we get this message here what looms ahead so now we can clearly see what refugees were running from the great frost is coming we have to prepare our scientists say they can calculate the severity of the storm from observations they just need a day or two to prepare their instruments and install them in the beacon and now we can see it clearly there's the big storm just over there coming closer now with every day and when it hits us oh my we, should, we better be prepared for that we also have some new points of interest here so let's send my scouts there one to the snow burrows and my other scout here to the icy the ice crevice and the storm is very close already and we can also research something new Industrial hothouses. Now we're really lacking though the steam cores. So I need to wait for that. Um, let's have the. Oh, house insulation is expensive. Increases the workplace integration of automatons, boosting their efficiency by 10%. I think we're going for it with this one yet. Um, because that increases our coal production. And right, we still have the problem with the the sick. So let's get a house of healing that doesn't cost us any... Um, let's get two of them and a medical post here. So that should be enough, you know. We have lots of, of houses then for sick people. So this is the, the health sector here of my city. And I hope we don't get that many sick people anymore. That many sick hunters. That was a bit strange in the last night. If, again, so many people get sick here, we definitely have to, well, put them off. But at minus 50, I don't think they're getting sick yet. I think at minus 70, they're getting sick. Let's put some workers there to the House of Healings. Very nice. So we got 122 now in the, in the healthcare. It's quite a lot. And another five engineers to that medical post there. Alright, so lots of people now in healthcare. And uh, people dying again. Lack of treatment. I think they're dying on their way to the, the healing stations. Oh, that is really strange. Come on. I did this quite some time. Quite a few times, this game. And it's rare, a rare occasion that I lose so many people to lack of treatment. Yeah. That is not pretty. I'm sorry that you have to see that. So many people dying. Can't change that. It's cold. It's cold outside. Very cold. And the temperature will drop again by two degrees, uh, by two stages to, to minus 70. Let's hope we get some uh, food in here quickly. And we get enough steel there again and steam core. That's more important because with the steam cores we're going to build um, the hot houses then. Oh, more survivors. On the verge of death, these people are on the last legs. Despite taking shelter in an ice crevice, many of them suffer from heavy frostbite and hypothermia. We can help them still if we act quickly and bring them to our city. Let's bring them to our city. Let's be merciful. Or let's be helpful and selfless. Since I'm losing so many people in my town, I'm not going to lose any other outside. Uh, man is 70 now, right. I'm a bit worried about food though. I mean, I know it looks full, but somehow it doesn't. Let's get more resource depots here. And the music changes now to a more dramatic tone as the big storm is coming closer and closer. Soon we'll leave our outpost here. So the steam outpost, steel, that's a 
pretty close to the storm. Yeah, let's get this one here for raw food, so we can store more raw food, which is full all the time. That shouldn't happen. Still over 100 being treated. And research the beacons. There is copic lens. That That's something we need to research. Okay. Let's do that. There it is. Costs 100 wood and 100 steel. Advanced measuring instruments installed in the beacon will enable us to gauge the sever severity of incoming storms. Being researched now, very nice. And more refugees are coming in now. They have arrived and I'm going to send my scouts right out there again. Deep Hollow. Okay, space is getting a bit tight now as well. There's something new here. Oh, more survivors. The price of survival. All these people are deathly ill. It's a wonder that they're still alive. The snow bears are only a, f a little f less freezing than the surrounding icy wasteland. They won't last a day if we don't take them right now to the city. Let's escort them back. I know it's taking time. But we're going to rescue, we're trying to rescue everyone we can. And there we're going to have the first hothouse. And this one will need a kitchen, I think. And I'm going to send one of them to emergency shift again. Because we really need to research that. Lens. Lack of treatment. <laughs> I don't believe that. Seriously. Is it bugged? It seems to be bugged a bit. I'm losing so many people to lack of treatment. Even though I've got plenty of space in my um, healthcare buildings. Not in those ones here, but I can um, I can treat over 120 at once. So I've got lots of space there. Okay, the next day we are going to um, rebuild a lot of houses here. You know, we still have the bunk houses and we want to get real houses there. To make this full, because they have more insulation and it's getting way colder soon. Runaway child. Sir, a man is here to see you. He says that his daughter ran away after the news of the storm spread. He wants to borrow a scout sled and go after her. Well, equip him for the journey. I understand him. Let's do that. There is the hothouse now. We do have an automaton ready. And that can work now here day and night to produce raw food. And with every steam core that comes in now, we are getting more hothouses. And more refugees have arrived. They still have space. Very nice. No one's homeless so far. Let's send the scouts back right 
to the next Camp Vulcan here. And yeah, soon we're going to leave the outpost here, unfortunately. Even though we don't need that much steel, but we're going to get a lot of steel, need a lot of steel, the following night. Another research. Let's get... Hmm. I think the house insulation would be the best option. Or we could make the automatons a bit more effective. Or the generator more efficient. Let's let's take the genera efficiency generator. Sir, the scientists couldn't believe their eyes, but they've double and triple checked their calculations. They say the strongest winds of the storm will cause the temperature to plummet beyond anything we've ever experienced before. Hunting will be impossible, the plants in the hothouses will freeze, everyone left outside the city will perish, and so will we if we can't heat our homes properly. We have to prepare. And the generator ready. What did? We did what we could to raise the heat output of the generator. This alone might not be enough. All our homes and workplaces should be as warm as possible. The cold that's coming could kill in minutes. And we have seven days before the storm hits us. We have a few things here to do. Recall all scouts and outpost teams, rescue all the survivors, and shelter more than 3,300 food rations. That is something we don't have yet. So we should definitely get more food. Oh, and Deep Hollow survivors bring them to the city. That's this one here, so the last survivors there. Then we have all the survivors at least. And what I also want to do right now is build more houses. Or upgrade my houses for the big storm. The whole inner ring of the city is getting upgraded now. We have lots of free people that can do that. And I will also need another cookhouse. And yeah, well, let's get some more hunter hangers. I mean, I don't think they get sick really. No one's got sick now this night. Even though I, I have people dying again to lack of treatment. Camp Vulcan. And more houses here in the city are being finished now. The warmest ones that are possible in this game. Generator efficiency upgrade. Very nice. Reduces the amount of coal that we consume. Still something about the food though. Hmm. Yeah, let's build an industrial hothouse. Let's research that. That enables us to produce even more food. And we also need more resource depots. And there we have more hunter hangers now. We need to store much more food. And the last refugees are coming in now. Survivors rescued. We've saved everyone we could from the places we knew. We're still sheltering survivors. God help the rest. Let's send my scouts back out there once more. And I'm going to recall now my outpost here. But they should be going back now, please. Before they die. Because the storm is coming really close now to my outer 
areas here. And I'm very hesitant to dismantle the steam core outpost, but I have to do that. Let's have it for one more day. That should do it, hopefully. More hunters. For more food. Camp Vulcan, more survivors. Ever deceptic or skeptic. You're going the wrong way, the scientists mistook us for refugees, but after we tell them about our city, they're nonplussed. It's probably too close to the storm to withstand it. Well, you might consult Nansen on that if you reach him in the south. Their work here is done. We should convince them to join us so we could show them our city. Escort the scientists to our city. 19 engineers. Let's do that. And I think I'm not going to be able to research everything here. Okay, I think it looks pretty good so far. We get... Yeah, food is still a tricky thing here right now. We need to research more in that direction to get more food. And one more steam core delivery is coming. I want to use that to build a second. And I want the, the industrial hothouse. I want to build that. Okay, Camp Compass is over there. Let's send someone there. Next scout. Just looking for some space for more houses because we are, there's still more people coming in. So I think here we can have more houses. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough food right now. I need to build more hunter hangers, I think. The engineers have arrived. And let's also dismantle... Yeah, I'm just waiting now five hours before that for the delivery. And then we definitely need to dismantle the outpost out here. And let's send my scouts out there once more to Camp Vulcan. And then they can go here to Camp Meteor. Perhaps there are still some survivors out there. An industrial hothouse will be finished soon. And more survivors, look at that. Escort them to the city. Those are scientists again. Sorry, I clicked a bit too fast there. Industrial hothouse. Only the conversion of an existing one can be used there. 
Okay, so we need to build a normal hothouse here. Let's build it over here. There's some heat there. And I'm going to replace... Or I'm going to place an automaton there from, I think, the steel mines, right? The steel works? Or the wall drill. Yeah, let's take the wall drill there. I don't need that here anymore. Let's turn it off. And use this automaton here. In that hothouse. And I'm going to upgrade this one to the industrial hothouse. Producing twice as much. Camp Meteor. So many points here out there, but the first points here, as you can see, are now frozen. They're getting destroyed now. And we can dismantle this outpost here now, too. Even though I don't like that. What else is there to research? House insulation definitely makes our houses even warmer. We need that in preparation. Let's use our faith abilities again. Pushes us every single time. Very nice. Now the hothouse is working there. And here we have now the industrial hothouse. Built with the very last steam core that we have. And we need more resource depots. I just love this game, the atmosphere, as it becomes more and more dangerous. We call all scouts and outpost teams, we haven't done that quite yet. More refugees coming in. Let's send those scouts out there one more time to fortified hut there. And our first outpost here is frozen now. We still don't have enough food. Should we get more hunters for one more night? Or two more nights? I don't know how, how, how many more nights we're going to have. But let's just build like three more. I still have so many workers available. And we are at 650 people now living here. Camp Meteor has nothing. Fallen Star researched the remains of the camp. This must have been some scientific operation dedicated to the research of whatever punched this hole in the ice. Oh, look at that. Now the place is deserted and there's nothing of value to be found here. Okay, should we continue with the scout here? This is getting really close now to the storm. Let's go for the ice caves over there. No man, I don't know. Looks a bit too close now. This one's getting frozen here already. Let's get let's go into this direction here with my scouts one more time. Hungry mutter. Yeah, let's give her two food rations. One last time. The temperature will rise by one level. And then it will go down, down and down to temperatures you don't even know. And I also like how the ice comes closer on the edges of the screen. That looks nice. Hmm, wait a second. Yeah, but that's still okay. My scouts should still do that. Okay, we have some more hunters here. Let's send some more people out there. 
We need all the food in the world. That's the main problem right now. Coal is really not the big deal. Even though we need more coal as well. But we have the automatons, you know, they work to the very last moment. So they work really long. Let's get more resource depots. We need a lot of them. And with that, we're going to leave it now. Day 33 starts soon. Stay tuned. <laughs>